What's up, my nerds? Hey. Welcome back to First Nerd on the Right. I'm your host, Mr. J. I know. Where's Cleo, right? Where's my wife? Well, today, she's taking the day off, and we're going to have a special co-host today. This is my good buddy here, Rich. He runs an e-commerce uh, store online. Sells collectibles, comic books, very cool stuff. We'll do a plug at the end. You guys can check him out. Route 20 Comics. And today, we're actually doing a review and unboxing of one of his own collectibles for his own personal collection. Look at the size of this box, guys. This is going to be really freaking cool. If it isn't obvious yet, this is life-size Samus Helmet, exclusive edition, Metroid Prime. This thing is sick. I can't wait to open it up. Can't wait to put it together. Can't wait to show you guys. This is very cool. Never been opened before. Never been opened before. And uh, what number did it have on the box? Uh, 28 out of, it's like 1,700 or something like that. 28. That's a low number. Very cool piece. I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Let's check it out. Cool. Let's open this up. All right. Wow, look at that. First this four figures, guys. It's just a little card. Yeah, this is so. This is how you actually authenticate it. You oh, register it technically. Never been opened. This is what a fully authentic, licensed product looks like. Very cool. I need to get me some spiral stuff, guys. All right. Especially from them. So we're gonna probably have to flip it and then flip so, it uh, again. The same, the same way we did before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, maybe we, I don't think we can open up the uh, do it this the bottom way. side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very cool. Can you see this box real quick? Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at the, the, the art. artwork. You can see the side view, the back view. Very cool. It's very glossy. It looks very metallic looking. Very like a, a space industrial, just the way it's supposed to be. Very cool. And it says, actually, you can look on right here. And you could show them this too. So, oh, yeah, look at that. 28. It's right on the box right there. Number 28 as, as specified. Official Nintendo licensed product. It's the real deal. They don't know how to do licensing. No, you, know, you, you, guys know, you guys know Nintendo. If it's not licensed by them, you get shut down. And then uh, when we were opening it, this little piece popped off the oh, top. That's right. Rich here was like, showed me this. I was not aware that this was a thing. It's, base, it's barely put on there. It came like that. And if anyone tries to open this in any sort of way, boop, this comes right off. So you know it's been opened before. It's not mint, brand new in box, unless this thing's on it. Pretty cool. Yeah, they do a lot to protect their their IPs that yeah, other companies they, give to them, they which do is a nice. Lot, a lot to protect them. They don't do enough, I feel like. They don't make enough statues, but when they make them... All right, so we're just gonna yeah. Really let's slice this down the middle. Thankfully, they're aware that people use box cutters and stuff to open this. So, however, I do remember they do have like a little section where like it does like a a little treacherous uh, a little design. Off. Yeah, you, you can also show them that there's art on the side. Oh, that's right. Look at that, guys. Right now, it's currently upside down, but you can see they put into the styrofoam itself uh, an image of uh, the item which is again more attention to detail you know if you're gonna pay this kind of money for this they better they better go all out right they got their own personal tape as well with their brand little... first four figures I don't know yeah I think we should just flip it and then cut it from there maybe turn it this way I think this yeah. is the front so this is the front this, this has a, a little Certification card on it. Yeah, very cool. You That's can register your item and the, also yeah, the blade. Don't. Um, you can register the item on their website, and let's just say they come out with a new Metroid uh, collectible. The number that you have, so twenty eight. So technically, I'd be able to take this and I could get dibs on number twenty eight in the pre ordering. Technically. So you're on, 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 on the next collectible. Oh, that's really yep. cool. Yep. So that's how that is supposed to work. 
I, had I don't know that. how I got 28 for oh. this, and it's probably because the person that had this reserved either didn't pay for it right. or they just didn't want it. They yeah. simply didn't want it. So this was not available when he was looking at it. It was on a wait list. And he's like, you think it's worth it? I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to get it. I'm like, you know what? If you want it, you yeah. put yourself on a wait list. I'm like, it's better to get it. Like I've always mentioned in our videos, guys. But if you want something, so. get it. No. Get it when it's on pre-order. Get it when it's retail price because these things will jump in price. How much is a, a, a Samus statue going for right now on average? Um, most of them are going for over $3,000. $3,000 for, for something that costs how much retail? $300 to $500. $300 to $500. It's, the, it's, uh, we're talking about four to five times as much. Some of her the ship statues, they made two statues for her ship. And um, both of them sell for well over three grand. Their askings are over three grand. Um, this thing is this tape is really kind of a pain to cut. Yeah. Um, which is good. It's not bad. Yeah, no, it's very well protected, guys. This thing came double boxed. Uh, foam on the corners. I think that's gonna be it. All right. Maybe. So I think since this was the front. We should put it on the floor. Yep. Yeah, right. Remember when we did the red weight? Yeah. We, it was all back. It was all backwards when we did yeah. the red weight. Alright, here it comes. What do we got? Anything in here? Nope. Crazy. Lots of styrofoam, very well protected. Ooh, look at that. Damn. I don't even know what to start yeah, with. Probably right, the base. Right. Probably the base, probably, right? Yeah. Uh, you want to pull the table up or do you want to just. I think we'll uh, we'll look at it first and then we'll put it yeah. once everything's out on the table. So let's take a look at this thing this is piece probably about, that's, that's the base. This thing like, probably right? weighs about 20 pounds. It looks like it. This is pure steel, it looks like. It, it right? is pure steel. <laughs> it is. Very cool. Same Wait, same. this thing spins, so that means the, the helmet turns? Yes. Very the cool. whole helmet turns 360 degrees. It's on a swivel, guys, built in. Very cool. So what's this I have here? That could be to what the helmet sits on. Think so. Ah, that makes sense. That's. I think it's a very simple three-piece. Yeah, it looks um, like it. Three-piece thing. So that's gonna sit right on the top. Oh, look, it's, it's magnetized. Wow. I'm guessing this is magnetized too. I want to see how heavy this is. Wow. Yeah, this is. It's got some weight to it, boys. And then this is what. <laughs> Oof. So that's the this the is... cream of the crop right there. This is probably about forty pounds. Oof. I, I have no idea. Oh, that is beautiful. This thing is awesome. Let's uh let's carefully assemble this. Yeah. Yeah. What's uh what's That's this? a battery. Oh let's get this. This in. gonna be a battery. Um that's probably in. going to the base. Oh no, what what lights up exactly? The visor or the, the visor is supposed to light up. So oh. I'm guessing this is bagged within a bag. There we go. So, so we we'll read instructions. Uh, yeah. So I'm you know we usually typically don't look at instructions, so it's more fun to just look at the pieces and try to put it together ourselves. But this is LED. Be, no, this one's LED. Maybe there's no. Well, there's a cable here. Uh, it looks like a USB C. Yeah. Um, is there any wall outlet? Did it say it came with an AC outlet? Or is this just possibly connected? To the Ridley USB? one. The, the Ridley one you charge, there's probably, um, on the Ridley base, when I got Ridley, for the um, first or figure Ridley statue, the switch is on the base. Ah, yes. I so see I have a feeling. Yeah, this is where you put the USB-C. Yep. So this means this is supposed to go to a regular USB. Yes. Uh, there right, usually so is some, there usually is some charge. Oh, this is with the, the battery oh, okay. goes if you wanted to use a battery. Let's do the battery. Is this a rechargeable battery, is it, or is this a, a hmm. I couldn't tell you. We're going to find out a little bit more. Uh, the other way, I think. Oh, are you sure? No, it's working this way. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, so number 28 of 1750. Some of hand wrote that too, huh? Yep. All right. 
So we basically have it out of the box. We're going to put it on the desk and let's get into this review. All right, boys and girls, we finished uh, the unboxing. Very cool stuff. I love that part of uh, when getting collectibles. Usually I don't uh, do unboxing because I'm too excited. But this time I restrained myself and we did an unboxing for you guys. Uh, both uh, Rich and I here. And now we get to review the actual statue. And I must say, just looking at its size, I've said it before, I love life-size items. There's nothing like life-size. It's just so grandiose, so big. One-to-one -one scale is... I, I try to grab as many cool stuff like that as I can. I'm very picky, though. But this, this is sick, guys. Look at it. This is Samus's helmet. See what it looks like without um, without her lights on when you spin her. Look at that. So you can so have both options, either lights off or lights okay, on. So this was the exclusive edition. Yes. Uh, there so there's no LEDs. No LEDs on the no regular edition. No LEDs on the regular edition. And then there's LEDs. Only on, on the exclusive. exclusive. Yep. How much was the price difference? Five thirty-six, I think it came so, out to, not including shipping. So just depending on where you live. And, and so that's probably about... I don't know, six. It was like $100 in shipping, roughly, give or yeah, take. Not bad for uh, today's shipping prices. And you guys saw how big the, the box was. Right. Um, it, was, it was heavy, too, yes. because of the the outside box, which was a shipping box. And then they had a protective box. And then, like we saw, the, the art box was near flawless when right. we took it out. This is beautiful, guys. Look how shiny it is. You can see the light reflecting off uh, the paintwork. Now, is this uh, accurate to the video game, yes, would you say? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I thought, I always thought maybe her suit was a little bit bigger, but she is a woman and she is tiny, so mm -hmm. it is very accurate um, to her suit in Metroid Prime. This is like one of the most memorable of all her video games for her 3D representation. This is probably her most well-known um, series. And uh, yeah, so it has everything. This is, um, this is incredible. Her visor, her visor, her helmet shape. Um, it's it's just awesome. The beautiful these, piece. These, um, I don't know if you call them breathing tubes, but the tubes so she can breathe in the yeah, suit. Yeah, it looks like a respirator yep. if I ever saw one. And the great thing is, is you know, your audience will notice that you don't have that table to spin it on because this thing spins yes, on its own. That's true. If you guys notice, we do not have it on the, the, the swivel today because it has one built in. There was no need. And... As you saw earlier when we were unboxing it, this is magnetized. And this thing freaking grabbed onto it like it, it was its job. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, I don't even know. Let's try to just quickly. Yeah, sure. See, see how much. Uh... So it comes off super easy. That All was right. actually very easy. All right, cool. Which is surprising. Because I thought it was going to have a lot of pull. Because when we put it on, you can immediately feel it click. This part's not magnetized. Oh, so the, the helmet, helmet itself not. is not magnetized, but the cover on the swivel itself is. That's pretty cool. Either way, this is a heavy piece. So how, how much would you say this helmet I, weighs? I, I don't know. Um, Let me give it a The whole set too. is that thing's probably about 40, 35 Ooh. pounds. It's heavy. Yeah, this um, has some weight to it, boys and girls, for sure. This is solid. This is yeah, not. Unfortunately, hollow. I don't think the website gave. The website, unfortunately, doesn't give that much information about it. Um, oh, that was really cool. You guys noticed that? This, if you take it off the base, there's no more light. No, it just, it just, it just turned, turned off. off. I, yeah, I must have missed it. Yeah, that's, that's cool. awesome. And it's probably because maybe there's some um, wireless charging through the yeah, platform. Yeah, probably. Very cool. Um, so fans of Metroid will notice that this actually is the save station. So mm. in the video game, she would just step onto this platform and there was a thing overhead and that's how you'd save the game. I so, would not have known that. Yes. Unfortunately, I did not grow up with Nintendo. I, all I know is this is Metroid Prime, but we have the expert here. And as he said, this is the saving station, which is very cool. Very, very neat uh, uh, attention to detail and do it that way. This is cool, guys. Yeah, it's awesome. Let's give it the three, line uh, work. 360 view here. Yeah, let's look at that, this line work here, huh? Look at that, guys. That looks pretty flawless. I don't really see any imperfections. It's very simple and very, very cool. Hey, sometimes 
Simple is the way to go. Yeah. This looks very sleek, very aerodynamic, very s just shiny. Look at it. It has presence. It's big. You want to put this on your head. Unfortunately, it's not hollow in that uh, uh, way. You can't actually put it on your head, unfortunately. I know. So this is on a waiting list, right? Uh, this was on a waiting list when I purchased it. And the moment that I purchased it and I received it, I decided to look again to see if it was still on waiting lists or whatnot because I was kind of confused how I got number 28 of all the prints. And it's now back in stock. Uh, this is probably about a year or two old. I'm not sure. I can take a look and see when they released it. Um, it's probably a year or two since it was uh, put on pre-order. Yeah, probably. to put on yeah. pre-order. These, are, yeah, these, oh, these started do, going out They do recently. their pre-orders. Yeah. If anybody has purchased from First for Figures, they know that they do their pre-orders very far ahead of time. Makes like sense. You can pre-order a year, a year and a half yeah. before sometimes. I know that um, people waited a very long time for the Conquer, you know, Conquer, the, uh, the squirrel, mm -hmm. his um, whole, I said squirrel, is he a squirrel? Yes. His whole, um, him sitting on a throne and thing that Yeah, that yeah, I remember years. seeing uh, uh, advertising yep, for that. they advertised it for a very long time, and people were waiting forever for that. Um, so, yeah, yeah, really cool. I definitely feel like this, I feel like all the Metroid pieces are really, really well detailed, really cool. Must-haves if you're a fan. Yeah. Um, you know, I have the Ridley statue and I have this, and this thing is just insane. That Ridley insane. statue is, is badass, guys. We're, we're going to review that here one of these days as well, because that thing, that thing's sick. I was or, with him. Or Arch Enemy. I was with him when he went and, and bought it. Uh, the, him and my, my sister came with us when we went to New York. When I got Grogu, he uh, got Ridley, and that thing is so freaking cool. This, this is, gonna is go just right next to the collection. Yeah, this thing is phenomenal. Um, the crazy thing is, is when I, I didn't even mean to buy it because I didn't fully understand what a wait list was. Um, <laughs> a wait list is when you're at the whim of the seller, uh, you put down money, uh, usually like 50 bucks or like 10%, 20% of whatever yeah. it is. Um, I put down, I think it was $50 out of 536. Um, and I said, okay, well, I'm going to wait list, I guess. I don't know when they'll ship it to me. I was honestly thinking months. I didn't know if they had to do another round of printing them. Uh, within a week, they withdrew the money from my bank account, and they said, "Hey, uh, you're getting the statue, like it or not." So, mm. that's that's that was my experience. I'm not mad because I knew that it was going to happen, but just be careful if you you go into a very expensive statue, or or anything, any collectible, right? And you're on a wait list. And you, they have your bank information. Just, just giving everyone that. That is up. true. Not, not a. Uh, not every depending on the policies of whatever website you're getting stuff from. Uh, sometimes they won't give you the heads up, you know, which happened with him. He was on the wait list once it became available, charged them and shipped it. Uh, I know some websites will give you the heads up. It's like, hey, it's available. Do you want it? You have X amount of time to buy it, right? So. Yeah, uh, be careful. You know, don't read it. Read the website's policies. Don't don't get surprised with a with a bill if you change your mind or you didn't have the money ready. Sometimes people put their personal account uh, cards, debit cards, and then you don't want to wake up one day with negative five hundred dollars, right? Right, right. Yeah. Uh, use PayPal. Yes. Uh, always use, yourself. Mm -hmm. um, always use PayPal, guys. Yeah. I, I that's the way I order my stuff as well i don't i don't use my 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 personal accounts for for ordering anything is always credit card it's just safer uh less worries less headaches you can always deal with them as as opposed to dealing with the company trying to get your money back for x and x reasons right guys but uh this thing is sick if you want it get it now don't wait for it to sell yeah, out. Yeah, no, no. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> I've been in a handful of first for figure groups. Uh, the people who purchased the statues and when they go to resell them, they're like, 
some of them are like 10x their price. Yeah. You know, yeah. they go through $300 purchases four years ago, three years ago, mm -hmm. and they're asking three grand. I think that's absurd. I agree. But the thing is, is that Nintendo gives no exclusive licensing to Not anybody. There's, if you know them and you love them, you know that they're stingy, that they will, um, they do cease and desists to mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. They do not care. They yeah. will find a way to shut you down. That's and right. I think that them having the licensing makes that so... Yeah. Like, if you want to get a collectible, like the Bowser statue I told you about, mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. that's like the grail of Mario. Yeah, I think it's quite big, guys. We, we saw it in, in person. I think it's, it's like that big. Literally, this It's thing, huge. This, yeah. it, it's a big boy. And so, it's, you know, something like this. Like, yeah, it's not sold out now, but... Since it came off the waiting list, now nobody's going to be gambling. Now people know that it's it's in stock, yeah. and they if they want it, they get it. And I think it's one of the cooler statues that they have, mm -hmm. especially life size. Like this is incredible. How how could I ever beat anything? Yeah, this like is this sick. for for her suit wise. You know, I've always wanted to get her you know quarter scale statues and stuff. But mm -hmm. honestly, I have this. Yeah. This is really, really if cool. If it's not this, then maybe the gun, maybe they make her blast or oh, her gun I mean, down the road. Or... You, you you, see Metroid, it, it has its... Uh, fan base. It's fan base. Yeah. They're going to keep making stuff like this. They're going to keep selling. I mean, yeah. you guys clearly see that these things don't remain in stock forever. They sell out. People do buy these. And as we've been mentioning it, if you don't buy a retail, you will be paying upcharge, which is bananas. Inflation is hitting everything, guys. Even the collectible scene. So... And, and reselling too yeah the reselling hobby yeah. i mean i do it um i tell you to do it you don't do it uh you're better than me um <laughs> i but, just can't uh, do it guys when i buy something i want to keep it yeah on. but the reselling <laughs> uh community and hobby and trend is growing so it fast is. where it it's is. almost like if you don't get what you actually want you just won't get it yeah, or you're going to be paying that's way true. too yeah. much yeah um, everyone everyone who wants a playstation yeah, uh, five. You, you guys see how, how scalpers are, are going nowadays. It's like, if you want something, you gotta hop on, like guys. Um, you know, like I said before, don't don't get into a situation that you can't, you know, afford either. That's why we have this uh, channel for, so you guys can enjoy these things. If if uh, you don't have it. the funds for it, you can see it. You can enjoy it with us. But if you are thinking about it and you do have the funds. I can't stress it enough. Got buy it at retail. Don't don't wait. Don't wait. It too doesn't long. get cheaper than it does. It doesn't. And the and price I, is the price. And we can do an anniversary video yeah, in three years yeah. where I show you the condition of it. I say, look, it's in the same condition. Yeah. Look at the price, and it'll mm -hmm. be people are gonna be asking oh. thousands. It's it's unnecessary, For but sure. that's how it works. That's how it works. That's why I think I'm probably gonna pull the trigger on one of those spiral statues from first four figures you eventually because. I know the day that sells out, I, I'm going to regret it. I can yep. just feel it. And you can see the quality that they have. It's good stuff. I love it. Hope you guys did too. It's cool stuff. Again, thank you for uh, spending the day here with us. First at, uh, at uh, first Nerd on the right. Again, I'm your host, Mr. J. Please, J. Follow my, my good friend here at uh, Route 20 Comics. He has a... Uh, tell yeah, us I what... Yeah, uh, I sell comics. I sell exclusive comics. Um, we're looking at um, getting our own exclusive comic through Whatnot. I sell them Whatnot. Um, yeah, we do like little auction shows and stuff. Whatnot is probably the best growing app for collectibles, cards, comics, etc. So I do a little this, a little bit of that. I sell them Mercari, um, eBay. Um, but as of right now, I pretty much just stick with Whatnot. And uh, it's really great because instead of looking for... Um, seller looking for buyers they come to me you know i curate a show i say hey we're selling spawn comics or i'm selling metroid stuff or you know i'm selling sealed video games mm -hmm. and people come to me and they will bid against each other and you know like i'm selling things that i know have value and i'm selling them for a decent price you know look lower than anything you're going to find on ebay and uh, people come to me and they say, I'm willing to pay this much. And I go, perfect. Get it out of here, you know. All right. And that's really, it's 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 a fun hobby. And you know as well, collecting this mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's even better when it pays for itself. That's the dream. Yeah. Having a hobby that pays for itself. <laughs> so follow him on Whatnot. Yeah. He has cool stuff. Like you said, price 
can be uh, negotiable, right? Always, always. Yeah, and, so. on, and on Instagram. Yeah, and follow him on Instagram, Route20Comics, guys. I'll put uh, in the description as well. And thanks for thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys had a good time. See you, my nerds. See you, my nerds.